Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome way, Ute Ra Imstre, tonight. I promise we're not going to do pig Latin all night long like we did last night. But we are going to play uh, Railroads Online uh, once again, and I am loving this game. However, I got a nice surprise, so... Uh, <laughs> I hope your day is going well. I think we're going to have some fun tonight. Um, yeah, I had a good day. It was mostly good. Mostly good. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to jump in here. And uh, I'll tell you what, I was kind of scooching the train back around to go pick up some more logs and whatnots. And uh, apparently I forgot that I was doing a little uh, work on the track. Mm -hmm. And as you can almost see through the weeds here, we have a little problem. Yeah, that's our problem. Yeah, we've done been derailed. Yeah. And uh, it looks like the train's on fire there, but that's actually just the firebox. It'll be okay. No worries. And, uh-oh, we have an immediate issue. My train is running away. Okay. C spot, C spot run, C spot run after train. <laughs> Come back! Wait for me. The little train that could run away. Where are you going, train? Come back! Hello, train. Train, wait for me. Come on! No, you don't need to run away. I didn't mean it, honest. You're a good train. I, w I was just teasing, honest. You don't have to run away. Hey, that's what happens when you hurt the train's feelings. Okay, that should take care of that. Some brakes on. So it doesn't go all the way back to the uh, freight station. So that's the fun we've got starting out today. Um, yeah, we're right on par for my normal type of driving. Anything is let's make it go. Let's make it go fast. Oops, we should have stopped. Yep, that's how we roll. <laughs> so here's the problem uh, right up here. So we come back to where the uh, engines derailed. I put this ramp in uh, last night while we were doing the Pig Latin stream. Uh, so I could get back up on the bridge because I was trying to, to work on it. And uh, I had completely forgot that I covered the rails. In fact, I don't think I even really realized I had done it. So let's get rid of this groundwork for it, guys uh, and gals. So we can go ahead and we should be able to re-rail re the train. Fortunately, you can do that in this game. Let's uh, Let's do the tender first. So we we'll just click the re-rail button, and then um, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see where it says re-rail, and uh, we'll just click on the tender, and you'll see the name pop up as tender, and then you just uh, point it at the track where you want it to land, and wait. And uh, hopefully the, the game will decide that it should do that Mom, at some point. Did you go to watch your show? Gucci! Gucci! Go! Go! Go to bed! Right? Go! Gucci! Go to bed! Go to bed! Ah, uh, the wife is heading off to watch her late night show while I do the stream. And our little puppy dog, who is a little, getting a little on in age, is getting less and less excited to go lay next to her and watch her show. I'm not sure why. She's also having a lot of trouble jumping on the bed lately. So our, our bed's fairly tall. And she's just not one to do it. Now, why is my Tinder not doing this? Okay. There it is. Okay. Now, you can see that it's backwards. So this part is really, really weird. If you hold it here too long, it's going to drift around. And then it will derail when it lands. So that's one thing to know. The other thing is you have to uh, rotate the mouse like in a clockwise like you're actually doing a clockwise. It's so really weird to get it to flip around, so I'm going to try to do that. Left mouse button. 
Come on. Come on, flip around. I don't know why it's not doing it. All right, let's go over here. Maybe I need to be at the side here. Okay. Once we get this train back going, I can... Come on. You're supposed to do it clockwise, but for whatever reason, it doesn't want to turn around now. Uh, you got to remember this game is still in development, and not everything works perfectly. So we can run into a few glitches here and there, but it's all right. I mean, it's no big deal. Just need to... Uh... All right, let's just drop it, and we'll try to re-rail it again. And uh, let's see. Let's go down here. Let's try putting it on the track this way. So as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, it does say tender. And hopefully that will... There it is. So we still have to turn it around. So let's try to do that this time. Come on. Turn it around. I really don't have any place on the... There's only one way on the track that I can rotate everything. Um, and I know I explained all that in Pig Latin last night. But if you did watch that, I'll bet 95% chance you didn't understand a word I said. And uh, if the Lord was nice to you... You probably didn't watch the whole thing, I expect. Come on. Let's try again. Still no. Okay. Let's try it this way. All right, come on. There it goes. Now it's turned around. Now it's the right way. Now let's go set the brake so that we can hitch up once we get the engine back on the track. So once again, this is Railroads Online. And I've uh, been watching EJSA, EJ watch, uh, play this game with his crew, and he's got about 10 people on there. Um... And so I've learned a lot from him. He's a lot better at the game than I am. So, um, ah, come on. That's backwards. No, turn it around. Come on. Turn it around. Little, 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 little Batman. Come on, turn around. Turn around. This is not playing nice with me. This stuff always happens to me, you know that? I watch EJ do it, he does it so seamlessly. It's like, okay, why can't I do it that way? Come on, select. There we go. I don't know, that one. Still not the right way. Come on, Eureka, turn around. You're making my viewers sick. Stop it. Hi. Caramba. All right, let's... Um... Let's try it this way. And I'm sorry about all that wiggle around. There's really nothing I can do about it. I gotta get this thing rebuilt. Come on. I have no idea which direction it is. Apparently the wrong direction. Yes. That was close. Hello, Eureka. How are you? Nice of you to stop by. That's a little scary. Maybe evading my personal space just a little... All right. 
Okay. Can you please turn around? Stop looking at me. You're freaking me out. Come on, Eureka. Please play nice. I don't have all day. I have a stream to do. Let's go. All right, we'll try it this way. I mean, if I can't get this to work, then I guess I just have to drive it around the track this way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know why it does this. And sometimes it will rotate properly for you. And other times, not so much. So I don't... Ah, it got it. There we go. There it is. There it is. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay. Let's uh, get her backed up. And uh, reverse her. How ah, about a little throttle and release the brakes. Hopefully she'll sit down all the way because it looks like she's a little off. Yeah, there she goes. Okay, good. Let's uh, go ahead and put some brakes on. Uh, nice. So I need to jump out for a sec. There we go. And uh, let's, uh, there you go. Glad you're in. Now let's go pick up the rest of my cars, right? Let's see. Let's see how we're doing on wood. I think we're doing okay. 51%. Yeah, let's add some wood while we're thinking about it. There we go. There we go. Nicely done. And back in the driver's seat, let's see where we're at. I don't think we can drop our regulator down. Uh, brakes down. Okay, so we're back on the on the road again. Um. So yeah, uh, this is my. My track in railroads online and so my plan is my idea is after watching EJ and some other railroaders I noticed they have a lot of switches and uh, it seems to cause them problems uh, how about some brakes too much all right and they're constantly forgetting to set the switches or misreading the switches and uh, ending up derailing their trains which you know we just had a little derail and you saw how that was so um, let's just give just a little bit more throttle here what are we doing on brakes yeah let's put that in there okay that should be good so and we'll get over here. Although, with having multiple people, it's much easier to run the trains. They're constantly hitting those switches. So, I decided that I would use as few switches as I can. There we go. Flip this over here. Uh, should be able to just jump in the cab here. And, oh, I set brakes, didn't I? All right, so... Let's set my regulator up, and we'll go back and release some brakes. Um, go. So I set this track up as a loop, so around the facilities that I have, uh, which is the logging camp, which is the first one you need to get. And let's go see what the boost break is. I'm just going to all remove in here. 
check these. I think they should be all good. All right, let's go. Um, the logging camp and the sawmill for right now. So what I've done is created a loop. So you go out on this line, and this will take you straight to the logging camp. You come back around. Let's drop that at a yeah three percent should be good. Just to keep the train tight. Hopefully it won't cause me to derail. Um, let's get back up here and ease up on that regulator a little bit. So this, like I said, this line takes you all the way out to the alright, let's uh, drop that down just a little bit there we go maybe up just a tad 30, no come on there you go, that's good um, takes you up through the logging camp you can pick up logs and cordwood up there and so that's these cars here are cordwood. Oh, I was gonna reorg that one there. Now, well, these cars are cordwood. No flat cars are for the logs, and then the other car, the this car here is for wood from the sawmill. So either uh, boards or beams. So anyway, you go through your pick up that stuff, come around to the sawmill, pick up boards and beams, drop off logs if you need to, and there goes my tender. Nice. Bye, tender. We didn't need you anyway. All right. Shut her down. Uh, okay. Let's, uh... So... That's the idea of the track, is to go around in a loop, so you can do all that. Fortunately, I'm not too far along at this point. Um, let's go ahead and release the caboosey boosts. Hopefully these will slide back a little bit. And the problems I do have is I'm not very good at making... Oops, that's the wrong way. There we go. I'm not very good at making the tracks yet. And so we've got a lot of little kinks and bumps and things which cause this kind of a problem where you derail your caboose. Most of the time I come across here, I don't have a problem, but every once in a while we will have a problem. All right, let's see what we've got here. I think. Ooh, what do we got here? Let's see. Let's disconnect that guy. No, that guy. Come on. Uh, I can't. <laughs> okay. It won't let me disconnect him. All right, let's get the tender out of the way first off. Uh, come on. So. Rerail. If you drive on my line, you get used to rerailing. Come on. <sighs> do it. There. No, it didn't do it. And, of course, it doesn't want to turn around, does it? Is there any reason you don't want to turn around? Ah, there it did it. Got her. Okay. Uh, Um, let's see. That out. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that later. All right. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and pull this pin out. That pin out.
Oh, I was kind of hoping that would move back, but looks like it's not going to. All right. Let's re-rail the flat car. Fortunately, it doesn't matter so much which way these goes. Okay, let's let's just do that. All right. Okay, let's let's back her up. Start to get her locked together again. Okay. Okay. Let's undo this. Now I would go through and straighten out my tracks a little bit more, but they do have an update coming up, which is going to essentially. Uh, well, not essentially. It's going to make all of these tracks not work. Because they're redoing this splining, which is supposed to... Uh, make it much easier to make track. And make straight track, I'm guessing. Um... Yeah. There we go. All right, let's back back up. So that's supposed to come out in about two weeks. So we're going to leave our most of our track the way it is. As I don't know what all it's going to take to rebuild that track. Come on. What's the problem? You don't have enough power or what? There we go. Got her. All right, so we should be able to... Well, that was released, this one. There we go. Release that one. I guess we won't put on the, uh, the caboose brake. That may have been what caused the problem. The train physics on here seem to be fairly accurate. So, come on. There we go. How are we doing on fuel? 72? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So any kind of train tension that's wrong going around a corner, and then you hit a kink or something, and, and you're going to end up with a problem. So, so if you look here, this is probably what caused the problem in the first place. A little funky spot on the track. Which, for the most part, isn't a problem. But if you're going too fast... Which is why I've been trying to keep it down slow, where you got too much tension the wrong way on the track train, you're gonna derail. So <clears throat> there's that. But uh, we'll go pick up some wood, some logs, and some cord wood if we can make it without derailing again. Gosh, I like this train though. These Eurekas are so pretty, and they're cheap. Because they're underpowered and they're not as strong as some of the others. Um, the other thing I've done with my track is I've kept it at 0.5% grade as much as possible. And that's what I want to do. Um, a lot of this track here that we're on right now is 0.1. Or not 0.1, but it's 1 degree grade elevation. Or one per, not 1 degree, 1% is what it is. Sorry, wrong term. Um so, but I've kept it all, except for a one little run coming out of the sawmill. Um, I've kept it all at 1% or lower. So I shouldn't have any problem pulling a long, heavy train with the Eureka. And so far, I haven't really had a problem with that. 
Um, and uh, this train here, uh, sure how many cars I have on there. I have four. What do I have? Four cord, four log, and eight wood. So I have 16 cars in a caboose. And I haven't had any problems on that. Um, except for if I'm you no know, speeding. So that's been good. And uh, but all I have connected is just the, the sawmill and the and the logs. And uh, <clears throat> but I'm gonna work on uh, the rest of the map I wanna do at point five degrees. And then I'm trying to keep my curves at uh, 10 degrees. 0.5% at 10 degrees. Or less. There are a couple places I've had to go to 15 and even 20 degrees for my corners. But even there has not been too bad for the train to take. Um, of course, the, the problem with corners, if you put them too tight, they're going to put more stress on the train, make it harder to pull. So if you can keep your corners light and your grades low, you have a lot easier time pulling heavy loads, especially with a lightweight engine like the Eureka. So I learned that from EJ. So, na nah. Um, oops. Sorry, I just clicked off. I was checking something. Um. So this is the Elizabeth, as you can see through the trees. And EB rails, because I'm Epsilon 4, so. Oh, uh oh slowing down a little bit. Come on. Oh God, I got enough wheel. Come on. So you, this is a deceptive grade here. Yeah. So this is a deceptive grade here because it comes up and it looks like it's um, like if you're just standing there looking, it looks like it shouldn't be that bad, but it's. It's rise and fall. It's just as the optical illusion is a little odd. So. Once we get down around the corner, she should smooth that a little bit. I don't know why she's struggling so hard. I don't have any brakes on, I don't think. We got plenty of... Plenty of water. Plenty of fuel. Plenty of temperature. Plenty of... Boiler pressure. It should be all good. Yeah, we're running 83, and we're just... Ah, that's odd. I wonder why it's doing that. Oh. Well, that might be a problem. I wonder what happened here. It must have jumped track just a little bit. That's probably what was slowing it down. All right, you. Let's. You did a bad job. All right. I guess we'll try again. You gonna sit down nice this time? There you go. That's better. Okay. Let's. Uh, where's your brake at? All right, let's lock this in and put our loop and pin and uh, 
Oops. Lock this in. Let's go ahead and lock a second one in just to be sure. Ah, get out of there. There we go. What's going on here? See what I mean by the optical illusion? It looks like you're coming down into the camp, and it's still actually the grade is actually going down over there. So that's all right. All right. So I think we're good here, right? Yep. Yep. All right. Let's uh, let's lock that up. Uh, set it in reverse. Brakes. Oops. Brakes off. Regulator. How about about 12? Should do the job. Let's go. And yeah, that's actually a technique you got to learn if you're going to solo run these trains. And uh, try not to let them build up too much speed. Or you're going to be smacking stuff around all over the time. place. There we go. Okay. Let's go pick up the, uh, the rest of them. I'll see if I make my guess right. And... That's probably not good. Happened. Let's pull it forward. Maybe we can pull it back on the track before anything bad happens here. Um, guessing that's a negatory. All right. What happened here? I normally don't have this much trouble. I may, in fact, I think I'm going to have to after this run is, uh, no, no, get over here. I may have to, uh, I think it just wasn't set down on the track, right? Let's see here. We'll let her slide back. Um... I'm going to have to start, I'm going to have to break out in probably half this train, I think, until after the update. No. What are you doing? Hey. That's odd. All right, what's going on here? Let's pick up that car. That is just odd. All right, what's going on here? I don't know why my trains keep coming off the track. Guess I need more power. Okie dokie. Here we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and head down the track this way a little bit. Give myself some room here. Okay. That is so odd. Okay. 
What's going on here? Hmm. Was this part of the track broken or something? I don't know. That's weird. Come on. <sighs> well, that didn't work. We try again, huh? I guess we try again. This is re-rail 101, I guess. <laughs> I'm not doing very good at this. All right. Not sure why I'm having so much problem keeping my train on the track here. Why are you not going? <sighs> oh. Well, I would love to pick up some logs and cord wood. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Oh, come on. Go. There we go. All right. This is what you get when you're running it by yourself. Back and forth and back and forth. All right, breaks off. Breaks off. Did I not get it? Uh-oh. Oops. No, it's forward. It's just still go back. Okay. How are we doing on fuel? Three. There's another derail back there, isn't there? Oh boy. What on earth? Uh. 
All right. I guess I make a terrible engineer. Ow, come on, break. All right, what do we got here? Oh, no. Okay, everything looks good. I could have swore when I looked back there, there was a derail back here. Oh, there was, look. There it is. Well, let's just move her forward and see if she'll sit down on the track like she's supposed to. She's not too bad yet. If not, well, I guess we'll do something else. Um, come on. There we go. No? There we go. All right, now. Let's see here. Okay, brake is off. Uh, I don't know if I have car brakes on or not. I'm guessing, probably. So let's. Yeah, that should do it. Let's go check the car brakes. There's some other word, oops, for empty cars that they've been using. I have no idea what it is, though. Well, that's off. That's on. There we go. Take that off. What's off? All right, the rest should be good. All right, let's head over. Start running her. All right, give her a little more juice. Come on. What on earth? Alright, I don't understand why it's doing this. Oops, wrong way. So, uh, yeah, this is just the derail channel. We've gotten quite good at derailing. And I have no idea why we're derailing around this corner. We have never done this like this. This has never happened before. So, I'm not sure what's happening, but uh, unless I accidentally put on a break I forgot about or something. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Let me check. No, that's off, right? That's off. That should be fine. Let's just check them all, I guess. Zero. 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 There's just no reason for it to be doing that. I have taken this longer train around this corner before. I think. Yeah, I have. And nice and slow. It should, like, shouldn't be a problem. So I don't know... But I'm guessing I'm going to have to redo this. So let's... Let's rebrail these guys. Over there. There you go. Drop that down there. You're bad. Okay, now let's see here. I'm guessing it's this corner right here that's causing me a problem. And you know what? I may have uh, I may have redone that recently. So, oh no. Yeah, you slide back. Go ahead, back up. Go on. Back up. Move her on back. Move her on back. All right, here we go. Lock her up. And let that go. So we're going to have to redo this track here. Because this clearly has an issue. So let's go. Rails. Demolish that. Let's go. 
all the way to there. All right, let's see if we can make this work. You know what? Let's try something new. We have these guys, which normally will just run pretty straight if once you set them up. So, and uh, I think what I'll do. I haven't tried this before. Let's a little bit straight. Let's back up. There we go. Now, let's see if we can't use this function to come around this corner. How far out do I need? Can I go? Okay, about right there. All right, so let's... Or am I 15 degrees? I don't want to go any more than that. Let's see if that'll do it. pretty good except for that well, that might be okay let's see let's take a look yeah I probably should have deleted my groundwork before I did that huh all right that's okay I need to delete more so we'll redo it um, I need to move this engine out of the way and come further back so that it'll line up proper. So let's. There we go. All right, that should be good for that. Okay. So, we're going to try to fix this corner here. Let's uh, go ahead and take that out. That out. And one more. Let's, let's see if that... Eh, let's do one more. Let's see if that's enough. Okay. Let's take that out. Okay. And then we'll take the groundwork out. Here we go. All right, here we go. Hopefully, this will allow it to sit proper. Okay, good. Oops, where am I going? Wrong direction. That way. On what? My wrist is starting to hurt. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Ooh, that's not going to do it, is it? Fine. I didn't want to have to put a bridge in underneath, but it looks like I'm going to have to. So... I don't want it down there. Yeah. That should do it. And do it fifteen degrees. I 
I don't really want to have it this tight, but I don't have a choice here. So. This should give me a platform to put the track on. Hopefully it's not going to get me too close to that one. Come on. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to take more out if I want that to work. Uh, it's not going to work. Uh, okay. Looks like we're going to have to go with maybe 18 degrees. Because that's not enough. All right, let's try again. Okay. All right. Let's try 18 degrees and see how that looks. Yep, that just might do it. Then we'll need to... Looks like we're gonna... Okay, I can... Um... Um, that just makes me a kink right there. And I don't want that. To, I don't like that. Nope. Let's go back over here. All right, let's try from here. I think that just could be close enough. Let's go ahead and take this out. Rails. There we go. And then let's take out the uh, extra groundwork. There we go. And that one. That one. Is that it? Okay, let's try that. back up and make sure we're straight here. Nice. 
Okay, now we need at least 15. Well, I guess we should just go ahead and do the 18 right now. Try to follow that, huh? There we go. Okay, I think. That ain't gonna work. Mm -mm. Okay. I mean, I like this. This is working. It's just not working. Here. Okay, let's... Um, we're just gonna have to redo this whole thing. So let's move this train out of the way. Up further up the track here. It'll find somewhere to stop down there. Okay. Let's take out the groundwork here, all the way around. Okay. Let's take out the bridge all the way back because we need one smooth corner. And I really didn't want to have to rework this stuff right now because I know there's an update coming out. But here we go. We're going to redo it because, well, we got to. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's get rid of the rail. There we go. Here we go, here we go. All right. Get rid of that rail, too. This whole thing's got to go. Okay, we'll leave that one. Um, let's see here. Looks like there's some groundwork right here. Maybe there's not. That looks like groundwork, though. Let's, uh... Yep, it was. All right. Cool. Some random piece of groundwork sitting there. All right, let's go. Now, when I did this corner before, uh, what I had done is tried to do this rail and use cross pieces to build this rail off that rail. Or vice versa, I don't remember, honestly. Might have been vice versa. Let's see. Let's do bridge. And from here, I think we're going to need... Uh, 
Oh, okay. I am a little too high, aren't I? Um, let's go ahead and... Create a place for me to start with here. We'll come around this away. Let's see what we see here. Yeah, it's still a little bit high. All right. So we'll drop that there. And that'll give me a piece to grab a hold of below the track. So the next piece should be right about the right height. So now all I need is we'll try it, I think, at 18 degrees. And uh, see what we do. So let's center, kind of line her up a little bit. And then we'll see where we get to. This is a tough corner here. Get right. All right. Oh, I guess I should go stop that, huh? Eh. I'll go fetch that later. All right, so we are a little bit too tight. So let's spring her down a couple of degrees. Yep, too tight. Okay. So that was 18. You know what? We'll, we'll drop her down to... Uh, well, I guess I should probably deal with this thing. All right, so let's see, what should, that was 18 degrees and it was too sharp. And it wasn't too sharp by much. So let's start again and I guess, let's just see what one degree does. We'll try 17, see how that works. Hmm, okay. 16, 17. Let's make sure we're straight. About like that. All right, let's see what happens. All right. Well, we're looking better here. Ooh. That's really close. Let's see here. Of course, the problem with that. Is that it makes a funky kink right here. Unless I merge it more. Oops. Hmm. 
All right, let's lower that down. Okay. And then I think I'm going to take this rail out. Terrible. All the way back to there. Yep. And, uh, so let's see if that works. So it's 17 degrees. I don't know if there's enough. Yeah, I should be able to see it. It does get a little close here. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. All right. Well, this isn't what I wanted the stream to be about today. <laughs> but that's all right. I had more fun things in store than fixing this corner, but that's okay. We can we have tomorrow night. Okay, so seventeen degrees. This is not 17 degrees. Let's uh, lighten that up a little bit. Ah, uh, that's no good. I don't know why I did that. That's no good. Oh, bueno. Ah, I messed that up again tonight. Ah. Uh. Let's try it from here. Maybe we can get it to work. All right. Well, it's getting late, isn't it? One more try. If we don't get it this time, we're gonna we're gonna call it a night. Okay. There we go. And 17 degrees. Let's see. I don't really mind if the track is too close right now because I only run one train. And I'm going to have to redo all this with the update anyway. So I really just want to make a decent corner that'll work. It's not going to be. Yeah, don't go down. That's. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're a butt. Ah, and this is the kind of glitches that uh, I'm hoping they fix on the update. Because that really should set in somewhere in here. And it just has decided that it doesn't want to. And I'm not sure why it's doing that. And if you break it, you pretty much have to redo the whole thing. So, like, if it won't set in, then you have to undo it and redo the whole thing you're working on. Because if you try to start a corner in the middle, you have to run a straight piece when it messes up your corner. So, let's, uh, no. Let's try this. Ah, you're killing me, Smalls. Killing me. Come on. There it is. You just never know where or why it's going to lock in. It just makes no sense. But they say that the uh, whole 
track building thing is going to be much easier with the new update. So that will, that'll be good. Come on. Come on, Smalls. There it is. There we go. Come on. Oh, we were doing so good. There we go. All right, looks like we need to tighten up just a little bit. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. You just have to give me problems, don't you? Come on. There it goes. I grabba. Okay. Tighten her up a little bit more. I know we're getting more than 20 degrees corner here, but that's okay. Um, we shouldn't be running out of here that fast anyway. Come on. Come on. Not sure why it's becoming a pain. Come on. I just want to finish this run here. There we go. Okay. Okay, why didn't it line up? You're killing me. I'm telling you. All right, let's, uh, what we're going to do is just, uh, uh, take that out. And we're going to try to do it with the regular track here. Just a regular track piece from here to here. and see if it doesn't make it nice. Probably won't make it nice, but let's see here. Hmm. It'll have to work, I guess. Not as pretty as I liked it, but... Let's see if that'll work, huh? Yeah, I'm not going to put any groundwork or change anything else on this. Normally, I'd rerun the other track, this kind of track here, on top of this one, and then then get rid of this one. But I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is for a moment. All right, let's rerail these guys. That's not good. I 
I know you can't see my deadpan face. All right, let's try again. Yeah, re-railing on corners is always a pain. Alright, that should do it. Okay. All right, let's enjoy the view as we go around. After all that, my wrist starts hurting. Pinky fell asleep. Terrible. Okay. Well, looks like I'm not going to get to show you what I wanted to show you tonight, but uh, there's tomorrow night. We'll take a look at that, maybe. Hopefully, this section of track I just rebuilt will work. And uh, I'll be all good. <sighs> and, and maybe we'll break down half of this this track. But I think while this goes around, I am gonna go ahead and bid you all a good night. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and. Go into drift mode here. I should do. Um, so. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for right now. And uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to see everything I wanted to show you tonight. But there's tomorrow night. I do like this loop, by the way. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice wide loop. Let you go around. If my track was good, it at full speed. So I'm really looking forward to the new track. That will be good. But uh, it's late, so we could have bid you adieu. I hope you enjoyed the stream and had a little fun at my expense. <laughs> if you like watching trains derail, hey, I'm your man. Um... <laughs> that have a wonderful evening and uh as always be good to yours and they'll be good to you